The nurse shark is a common bottom-dwelling shallow water shark that lives in tropical waters. Their coloration varies from a light yellow-brown to dark brown, allowing them to blend in on the sand. They have a flattened body and a broad rounded head. Between their nostrils they have two barbells, much like a catfish, which are sensory organs used to aid in foraging. They have small suction cup-like mouths in which they use to cup over crevices to suck in prey. They have large throat cavities and can force in short, violent influxes of water. Nurse sharks are known for making strange sucking noises when foraging. Their diet includes crustaceans, sea urchins, bivalves, fish, and small stingrays. Nurse sharks can grow up to 15 feet in length and can weigh up to 230 pounds. They can live up to 35 years old. During the day, they are seen in cozy groups up to 40 sharks, usually staying hidden together in caves, submerged ledges, and in crevices around reefs. They are nocturnal, becoming more adventurous and solitary at night, wandering the bottom sediments in search of food. Nurse sharks seem to prefer specific resting sites in which they will return to each day after a night of hunting. This species falls into a category of more laid-back and easygoing sharks that like to swim a while and then rest a while. Most shark species have to keep swimming in order to breathe, using a respiratory system called ram ventilation. Unlike most sharks, the nurse shark can lay stationary on the sea floor. They have a second respiratory system called buccal pumping, in which they can face against the current at rest and pull water into the mouth and over the gills. This method is used to save energy. Like most sharks, nurses are ovoviviparous. The eggs develop within the uterus of the female until birth. The eggs receive nourishment from a yolk sac in a brood chamber where the embryo develops. There is a gestation period of about six months, and on average there are 30 pups born in a litter. When born, pups have a spotted pattern, and as they age, the spots fade. Also, cannibalism between pups can occur, the stronger offspring preying on the weaker. Nurse sharks are inshore reef-associated animals that live in tropical and subtropical waters. Their distribution resides in the Pacific and Atlantic Oceans, especially around the Caribbean islands. They can be found in and around reefs, channels, mangrove islands, and sand flats. The young tend to hide in the roots of mangroves for shelter. In general, their depth range extends from the intertidal zone down to a depth of at least 40 feet. Unlike most sharks, nurse sharks do not migrate. They tend to stay in warm water areas, ranging from 68 to 86 degrees Fahrenheit. They feed on non-migratory species and tend to live in the same tropical locations all their lives. Whether they know or not, people swim near nurse sharks every day. Attacks on humans are rare and typically result from antagonizing the shark with a hook, spear, net, or hand. Otherwise, these submissive animals will swim away if approached. They are not targeted by fisheries, and due to their sluggish nature, they are undesirable for sport fishing. Major threats include bycatch, spearfishing, and ornamental fish trade. The flesh of sharks and other long-living species have high concentrations of mercury and other toxins and should be avoided. Human impacts such as pollution, runoff after deforestation, and disturbance from tourism are hurtful to their habitat. Juveniles are sometimes collected for home aquaria, as they are hardy, live a long time, and are quick learners. However, keeping them in private aquariums is not wise, since these sharks can grow over 10 feet long. Public aquaria will not take outgrown sharks, and releasing them back into the ocean can be detrimental. Nurse sharks are more valuable to us alive and free in the ocean, where they belong. There are current conservation actions being taken on the species, such as attempted protection in Atlantic and Gulf of Mexico waters and certain small governments considering a ban on the nurse shark fishery altogether. Conservation efforts should also include no fishing marine units, reef formations, bycatch control with mandatory release of individuals, and development and execution of management plans in order to make way for conservation of all chondrichthian species in this region. This species is vulnerable due to its docile nature, which makes them easy to catch, a disadvantage to these sharks. On a global scale, they are considered data deficient on the IUCN Red List of Endangered Species, but in certain parts of the world, they are listed as vulnerable. 
With the help of the nurse shark as an easily observed and studied species, we are learning the importance of their apex position in tropical ecosystems. By protecting and studying nurse sharks, we can understand how their life history and activities is important in balancing oceanic food webs and keeping coral reef ecology healthy and diverse.